Uh, working with Chick Corea has been uh, one of the most amazing experiences I've ever had uh, as a musician, and indeed as a person. Uh, because first of all, he's a, he's a wonderful person. He's very giving and supportive, and he's constantly encouraging you to to reach beyond your capabilities to to expand your musicality. Um, and he's always looking for you know the, the newness and everything. He's, he doesn't look back. He's not resting on any laurels. He's not, you know, he's, he's uh, not uh, being nostalgic at all. You know, he's always looking forward. Um, and he's just a, an amazing spirit. I mean, he's, I think he's going to be 75 this year. And um, he's constantly looking for the next chapter. Uh, when we work with the group Origin, uh, we were working quite a lot for about three years. We were on the road constantly. And I have to say, I never worked with a musician that didn't repeat themselves. Um, I mean, because every night he sat down at the piano and he was already in like fifth gear on the first tune. And it just got higher the longer the set went on. Um, and he never repeated himself. Uh, and he always urged you, uh, uh, both vocally and musically, to just keep going, to keep reaching. So he would really drive the band from, from the piano. I mean, it was pretty powerful. Uh, but all the while, you know, having fun and, and uh, just having a great time doing it. And uh, his, his organization also, I mean, his, uh, the group of people that he worked with and with his tour support, I learned a lot from them also about how to put tours together and uh, to be organized. And, um, but he's, you know, it's amazing to be such a fan of of uh, Chick for all of those years before I started to play with him. And I remember like the third year into the band and we'd be playing a tune and he'd be taking a solo and Steve Davis and I would be standing beside each other, you know, and we'd look and just in amazement and we'd go, that's Chick Corea over there. And it's the third year in the band as if we're just still fans, you know. So it was really fantastic. It was a wonderful experience. Yes, working with Dave Holland, um, like working with Chick Corea, was uh, one of those experiences where I, I really grew so much uh, in the time that I was with him, which was a little over a year in a Dave Holland quintet. Um, Dave, like, like Chick, like so many others, but, um, knowing his accomplishments and musicality in such a wide-ranging um, uh, circumstances, musical circumstances, um, he encouraged all of us, uh, all of the band members, to bring in everything that we were influenced by. Um, he, he put up no boundaries. He, he wanted it all, you know, whether it was, it was jazz or avant-garde or, or funk or whatever it was. He wanted us to bring everything in there, and he would find a use for it. And he would hear it within your sound and within what you did, and he knew a, a way instantly to support that musically. And... And likewise with, with Chick, he wasn't resting on any laurels. Every night he played, it was like uh, like he was just going for it, totally. Like it was going to be his last night playing. And that really encouraged us to, to reach for it every night. And likewise, he's a, a, a beautiful uh, human being, very supportive, very warm. And um, I, I just had just a, an amazing time working with him and that band. And I really grew a lot in, uh, in that time. And it uh, really prepared me for a lot of the other things that I did after that. Mm -hmm.